Welcome to a new stitch of the month and um, this month we're learning how to crochet the offset knot stitch. I'm using a 5mm hook for my foundation chain and the first row, then I'll continue with a 4.5mm hook. It doesn't matter how many stitches your foundation chain has uh, or whether you have odd or even numbers of stitches, um, you'll get the desired results. The first row is a row of single crochets uh, worked with the right side of your work facing you and I'm using US terminology throughout. So as always I'm working my first row in the back bumps of my foundation chain instead of in the chain stitches themselves and that just creates a nicer neater starting edge. At the end of the row, we change colour in the final pull through of our last stitch. So when you have two loops left on your hook, then take the new colour and pull it through those two loops. Then chain one with the new colour for the turning chain. And now change hooks. This is my four and a half millimetre hook. I now have the wrong side of my work facing me. For the offset knot stitch, we alternate single crochets and treble crochets across the row. Here I begin with a single crochet. And then I work a treble crochet in the next stitch. So that's a yarn over twice, then pull through two loops once, twice and three times. My next stitch is a single crochet and as I work the stitch I push the post of the treble towards the other side of my work and that creates the knot like bulge on the front side of our fabric and work the single crochet. And then we have a treble, so yarn over twice, insert your hook, then pull through once, twice, and three times. Push the post towards the other side and single crochet in the next stitch. And continue alternating these two stitches till the end of the row. Now here at the end of my row I have one final stitch after my last single crochet. To avoid having a knot stitch right at the edge I'm going to work a single crochet in it instead of a treble. And again in the final pull through you change colour again. and then chain one to turn. The next row is once again a row of single crochets. So first we have two single crochets in the two single crochets at the end of the previous row. And then work a single crochet in the next treble crochet. 
Now the top of the stitch will be facing away from you towards the back and try to keep it that way as you work your single crochet. Um, this will help push the knot out further towards the front. And then continue. Here's the next treble, so with the top facing backwards. And you can already see the lovely knot texture taking shape on the front of our work. In the final pull through of the last stitch, change colour again. Chain one to turn. And then to stagger the knots, we're going to start this row with two single crochets instead of one. That means we've got a single crochet directly above the treble crochet from the previous row of knots. And then work a treble in the next stitch. Push the post away from you and work a single crochet in the next stitch. And continue like that until the end of the row. And with a single crochet and change color. And so now you can see that the knots are staggered across the rows um, and to keep the offset going alternate starting your knot rows with one or two single crochets. Now enjoy crocheting the offset knot stitch. <laughs>